Happy Wednesday, everybody. Welcome to yet another episode of Five Minutes with Phil. It is great to have you here with me. Once again, we're going to unpack God's Word for this midweek, and I pray that you're doing well. Uh, Today, I want to give you uh, three thoughts about Jesus that I think can really encourage you this morning and uh, all throughout the day as you live your day out for the Lord. And I found them in the book of Psalms. It's Psalm chapter 61, verses 1 and 2. Psalm 61, verses 1 and 2. And I'd like to share that with you here this morning. Let's take a look at it together. Are you ready? Here we go. It says this, O God, listen to my cry. Hear my prayer. From the ends of the earth, I cry to you for help when my heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the towering rock of safety. You know, yesterday we mentioned that sometimes difficult things can can take place in the life of somebody who loves the Lord, who follows Jesus. It just, it happens. It's going to happen. And uh, how do we deal with those situations? Well, I think as we go through life and as we try to function in the midst of the difficulty that we're facing, uh, I'm reminded of three characteristics of God that I think will really encourage you here today. Uh, let me give you, they, they all three start with the letter L. Number one, God listens. God listens. He says, oh God, listen to my cry, hear my prayer. You know, you have an assurance today that when you cry out to the Lord, he hears you. And uh, he, he doesn't just hear noise, he listens to you. Um, ever been in a conversation where, <laughs> and maybe I've been difficult uh, uh, or, or guilty of this, and maybe uh, a difficult person to, uh, to be a good listener if my mind is really elsewhere, but you, you ever try to talk to somebody and, and they're like looking right at you and you're like pouring your heart out and they're just really not engaged, they're really not listening. Um, I've had those. <laughs> I bet you have too. And uh, that can be tough. Uh, thankfully, that's not the picture of God that we have here in this scripture. Uh, when we cry out to God, when we pray to God, he not only hears noise from us, he listens to us. And that tells me that he cares. That actually leads me to my second letter L here today. God listens to us. And secondly, he loves us. He listens and he loves. He listens and he loves Verse 2 says, from the ends of the earth, I cry to you for help when my heart is overwhelmed. It's that phrase from the ends of the earth that we can cry out to God. You know, it doesn't matter where you're at. And I'm not even talking about a physical place right now, but even where you're at emotionally and spiritually and relationally with God, uh, no matter where you find yourself and no matter where you're at, you can cry out to him and he loves you so much that he will hear you and he will listen to you. You don't have to get your act together first for him to give his ear towards you. He loves you enough that even if you're at your worst, he will give his best to you. He'll listen. He'll hear you. He'll listen. Why? Because he loves us. And then finally today, not only does God listen and not only does god love us but thirdly god leads us he leads us the last part of the verse that we read here says lead me to the towering rock of safety you know what's cool is that when i ask god for help all right he not only hears me and says oh they're there and just pacifies me he doesn't do that um he is active and he wants to lead me to safety. He wants to take me to a place that I can go and find safety in him, where I can find protection in him and through him. So when I ask God for help, he not only wants to like give me comfort in the midst of the pain, he wants to lead me out of that pain 
and lead me to a place of safety where I can be protected and I can recover and I can get healthy again. And maybe that's what you need from God. You need God to take you from where you're at now, emotionally or spiritually, wherever it might be, and lead you to a better place. God's able to do that. And so this morning, I want you to remember three L's about God. Uh, God listens to you, he loves you, and he leads you. And that's a pretty good thing to keep in mind this morning. Okay, love you. Thanks for joining me. And uh, I pray you have a great day today, okay? Happy Wednesday. Bye-bye.